This is one of the most stunning pictures. The road beneath these commuter rail tracks in Lemonster is gone, and there is similar major damage all over that city. You've seen some of it. WBZ's Tammy Mutasa picks up our team coverage. She's also live in Lemonster. And Tammy, based on the extent of the damage, safe to say that some of these repairs could take months. Lisa, that's right. The cleanup is still far from over. I mean, when you just see the destruction to roads and infrastructure, it is still very shocking. Just a short time ago, this road right behind me here had been closed for several hours after water from a nearby brook flooded and was flowing down this road. You can see water is flowing, but now the road is open and you can see sandbags are lining up the road and there are barriers on the side just to keep some cars and people safe. Going to be going out to a state of emergency. The cleanup effort is laborsome in Lemonster after being blasted by torrential rain and flash flooding. Sandbags keep piling up where water keeps flowing in. The water was channeled through here and it came this way. And I also have a sinkhole over there. The aftermath includes two gaping sinkholes in the back parking lot of Athens Pizza, now surrounded by caution tape and patio chairs. Nobody died. Thank God, nobody died. So just a matter of getting repairs. I think we'll get through it. Under the intense pressure of powerful floodwaters from the Nashua River, roads buckled and collapsed. Sinkholes surfaced, swallowing cars at this dealership. Even the ground that supports the commuter rail tracks was washed away, prompting delays. I mean, this is just crazy. I never thought I would see anything like this in Lemonster. Dams that have been in danger of breaching have now been stabilized, and evacuated families can now go home. But some folks are still stranded at the Red Cross shelter set up at Skyview Middle School. I've never seen water how much damage it was and, and with all the weather we've had this summer it is incredible. Chris was forced to stay at the shelter last night after flash flooding forced the road to his apartment building to close. We're expecting bad weather tomorrow. This is not going to end. And since the flooding disaster started more than a thousand calls have been pouring in. Firefighters working around the clock helping 200 people from their homes or cars. It's going to be a lot of damage a lot of cleanup and just Difficult traveling until it gets uh, resolved. A town left processing the magnitude of the disaster. And what's next? Well, I have to give credit to all these workers, the mayor, everybody. They, they did a great job. And back out here live, you can see this intersection at Main Street and River Road is back open, but water is still flowing here. So first responders want people to use caution as they're trying to navigate some of these roads that are still flooded. Crews have been working so hard to clean up around town. There were crews actually trying to fill up some sinkholes around some of these businesses. And you know, if people want to help some of these businesses and families that have been impacted, there is a Lemonster Relief Fund to help these people as they're recovering. People are also being asked to donate to Ginny's Pantry. They're accepting food, clothing, and any personal items to help out these families that have a long road to recovery. Live in Lemonster, Tammy Machasa, WBZ News. Tammy, thank you.